Hello and welcome to Bread of Life. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Paul Hilton of Middletown. Hello friends. The Bible is filled with outstanding stories of how people came to faith in God. This week, we will be examining seven great conversions in the Bible, and we're going to see what we can learn about the heart and character of God as it relates to each of these conversion experience. Biblical conversion speaks of total transformation. It simply means that the individual's life has been changed and totally transformed. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17, that famous verse says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. The person is not reformed. The person is not rehabilitated. The person is not re-educated. They are recreated, a new creation. At conversion, they are not merely turning over a new leaf. They are beginning a new life under a new master, a new administration. So this week, we will look at seven conversion experience. And I'm going to start today with the first one, which is Rahab the harlot. In the book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter, verse 31, it says, By fate the harlot Rahab did not perish with those who did not believe when she had received the spies with peace. Rahab was a prostitute. It says so in Joshua chapter 2, and also Joshua referenced her as well in chapter 6. In the city of Jericho, that's where she lived, her house was built right into the city wall, which provided both lodging and favors for travelers. It was a natural place for the spies to stay when they were sent out by Joshua to spy out Jericho and the land. And this way, people seeing them would not mistaken them as enemies, but rather see them as a customer going to the, her house. Her fate gave her the courage to hide the spies and protect them from the authorities so that they could complete their mission. As a result of her actions, and we all know the story about Rahab, at least if you're familiar with the Bible and with the Old Testament, she asked the spies to spare her life, and not only her life, but the members of her family as well. And the spies promised that they would spare her if she placed a scarlet rope hanging from the window where she let them down. This scarlet rope was a symbol of the covenant they made with her. It represents the blood of Jesus. When I see the blood, the song says, I will pass, I will pass over you. Her fate and action resulted in her finding favor with Jehovah. Her life was spared and she became a relative of Boaz and an ancestor of both David and Jesus. Rahab became one of the messianic mothers of Israel. She is one of only two women mentioned in the hall of fate in the book of Hebrews chapter 11. And James also mentions her. What lessons can we learn from her life? Number one, God is merciful and full of grace. He doesn't discriminate. God remembered her because of her fate, not her profession. If you are listening and you feel that your life is too messed up or your past is too deplorable for God to use you, be encouraged. If you repent of your sins and surrender your life to him, not only will he forgive you, but he will use you for his glory. And Joshua spared Rahab, the Bible says in Joshua 6.25, the harlot, her father's household and all that she had. So she dwells in Israel to this day because she hid the messengers whom Joshua sent out to Jericho. You've been listening to Pastor Paul Hilton of Middletown, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.